you have a couple of additional options when enforcing referential integrity. One is the cascade update related fields option, which basically means that if a user changes the contents of a related field, for example, a primary key field, then that change is rippled through all related tables. But before I show you how to do that, I'm just going to cancel this. I want to first show you what happens with referential integrity enforced when we try to alter a primary key. So jumping back to our artist table, let's say we want to change the artist ID for Stephen Ashbrook to 101. Now when we try to update this record by moving off of it, we'll get this warning message. The record cannot be deleted or changed because table TBL albums includes related records. And if we click OK and then press escape to get out of that edit mode, and switch over to TBL albums, we do see that artist ID number one is used quite a few times. And that's why it's not letting us alter that field, because of these related records. Now, closing these tables and jumping back to the relationships view, if we turn on cascade update for that relationship between the artist table and the albums table, just double click on that relationship line and check the box cascade update related fields. With the cascade update related fields option turned on, if we go back to the artist table and now try to alter that record, this time you can see that it allowed us to make that change. Now if we were to jump back to TBL albums, now you can see that that record is also changed in its related field. And that is what Cascade Update does. So in essence, it kind of saves you some trouble doing data entry. Now on a side note, it is very, very rare for you to ever want to go back into a table and change any kind of primary key. Typically that doesn't happen. But if you ever do, turn on Cascade Update and it will save you some time updating records.